Hey, soul family. I have, um, I just wanted to share with you today some of my seed grab bag from MI Gardener. Well, this year, it was my first year that I found out about the grab bag, and it's where you get 30 packs of seeds for $15. Well, with postage, postage is $3, so it's $18, so it comes up to about like 60 cents a pack. The caveat to it is that you do not know what you're going to get. So you can get some things that you want. You can get some things that you don't want. And you can get some things that you didn't know you wanted. So I just wanted to share with y'all what I have. I kind of excited about what I got. And I also have some seeds. I'm in the seed exchange group. And I just wanted to show you some of the seeds that I got. So from my MI Gardener grab bag, I got all these tomatoes. Now... The only one that I have is this Tiffin Mennonite tomato. I'm really excited about growing it because it is one of those slicers. And if you're from the South, we love tomato sandwiches, tomato soup, tomato pies. So this will be something exciting to grow right here. But this is something I have already. But there's also the Mexican Midget, the Crimson Sprint Sprinter. The Rutgers tomatoes, some of them I've never tried. Uh, this year, I grew about 14 different tomatoes, um, just different ones that I've never tried. Some from Save Seeds, some from Bought Seeds. Um, I also have the Stupid's tomato. Mm, I don't know what that means, but anyway. And the Perron Sprayless tomato. So that'll be some good varieties to try. And these are just tomatoes. And then I have some peppers. I love peppers. If you didn't know, I love peppers. I collect pepper seeds. I grew about 10 different varieties last year of hot and sweet peppers. Mostly hot because I like hot peppers. Okay, so this is a YOLO Wonder Sweet. I guess it's like the California Wonder Tomato. I mean, a uh, pepper. So kind of excited about that. I don't know how big they're going to be. If they're going to be like the little dinky ones or the big ones like Bertha. The Big Bertha. I do have some of these seeds, but... um. You know, you just never have enough pepper seeds. So, and I and I like to pickle these, and I also like to make a Mississippi roast with these. These are really good. Now, melons. Uh, I got one melon pack. This is a honeydew melon. It is a 75 day variety. I'm looking forward to maybe you know I might try it. I don't know because I have some interesting melons already in my uh, collection. But it's always nice to have just something basic, nothing too elaborate too out there but you know so i got these um also some pars uh not parsnips i was i was supposed to grab the parsnips so let's just parsnips okay never grow them and i may try to grow them in the springtime i think it's kind of late here in zone 7b to plant them uh i don't know i'll see how i feel i probably won't wait i'll probably wait to um to the spring Caraway seed. Now, interestingly, I read the package, didn't notice about caraway seeds, that you can eat the greens, you can eat the roots, uh, and then the seeds, but they're biennial, so I will not get seeds. Um, I think this is a biennial. Yeah, it's a biennial, so I won't get seeds from it for two years if I don't kill it first, but uh, it's very interesting to know that this is yet another plant that you can, it has multiple uses. It's just not about a flower or uh, or a leaf, but you can also eat the roots. So I'm like, you know, I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. Now, bachelor buttons. I already have some bachelor buttons, but I don't have the white ones. Learned about these that um, you can use these for baking tea. I didn't know that. I mean, I just, when the flowers died, I just threw them away. But now I know that I can make tea out of them. And so this will give me a uh, different color. Now, one thing I did find out about bachelor's buttons is bachelor's buttons, uh, they can drop seeds and uh, kind of spread all over the place. So you want to be careful when you're planting these. Now, beans. I, I always grow Chinese long beans. Uh, I tried peas this year. I've had some bush beans here and there, but not much of anything. But since I have my uh, grab bag beans, this is what I got. So I'm gonna try out some new beans next year. And I like the cannellini beans, they're good. Um, I make a, a Mexican white chili with these beans. I usually get them out of a can. I never thought about growing them. Uh, the Scarlet Runner beans, I've heard a lot of good things about these. So um, we may try these next year. And pinto beans, who don't like some good old pinto beans? So that's, that's a good, 
that was a good find. I don't think much of what I've gotten is things that I don't like. Um, this I'm adding to my basil collection. I do uh, I also have about maybe, I want to say about 15 different basil. So when I got this basil, I'm like, yet another basil, licorice basil. That'll be interesting to try. And I'm thinking about in my pollinator garden to put um, one of each, one or two of each basil along the back of it. I'll show you that in another video. I'm upgrading it and changing some things around. I have another sunflower. I love sunflowers. I've grown all kinds, chocolate, mammoths, um, um, the kind, I'm like an orange one. It kind of goes into different, it's, it's not like a single stem, it's like multiple stem. So this would be interesting to try. I always like, like a good sunflower. Now, this was a big surprise. I was just talking to my mentor. I am a master gardener intern. So I was talking to my mentor about lemongrass. And I just planted my lemongrass, which in our zone is not a perennial. It's a perennial in zone eight. But because I am an experimenter, I planted it anyway. And I said, I'm just going to baby it. If I got to cover it up, I'm going to cover it up. And we're going to see if it works. If it doesn't work, look what I got. I got some lemongrass seeds. So we'll be growing more lemongrass. When I was transplanting yesterday, my God, the smell was amazing. I loved it. Um, a delicata squash. Never heard of it. Never saw it before. I'm not sure if I want to grow it. I'm going to look more into it because a lot of these um, vining plants, I mean, you got to know what you're getting yourself into because a lot of times they grow crazy. I mean, they can take over your yard. So I want to make sure if I'm growing a squash, that I have the room to grow it, um, that I even want to be bothered with it. But um, this is something I got. I may or may not try it, or I may trade it in a um, seed swap or something. So over here, uh, early one, the um, beets. I have some of these already, but you know, you just can't get enough beet seeds. Um, so I was happy about getting these. Okay, this lettuce, I have a lot of lettuce seeds, but I did not have butter crunch. So even though it's kind of late here, I'm gonna still sow some of these. I'm gonna give it a try and see if they grow. And if they don't grow, that's fine. But I, I think they'll do well. Butter crunch lettuce, some good old endive, and a dandelion, Italian dandelion. Okay, that's different. I don't know that I wanna introduce dandelion you know i don't know i have to look, get do some more research about that okay some other ones some slow boat, boat arugula early jersey wakefield cabbage never heard of that one it's pretty neat looking some late flat dutch i have plenty of these but you know i can always use more now this is a kale I wanted. I have several kale, but I didn't have the red Russian kale. So I got that in my grab bag. Turn up for what? Another turn up. So I have two turn ups. I have um, just the regular turn ups, the white bottoms, the purple bottoms. But this is a show going turn up. And it kind of looks like a, a, an onion on the bottom, but uh, we may throw some of those seeds in the garden to see what comes up. Now, Thank God, I have been growing Swiss chard. My Swiss chard did wonderful last year. Matter of fact, I have one of them still in the garden. Well, the bugs did get to a few of them, so I was trying to plant them again, and the seeds that I planted, they didn't germinate. I planted like three different times, and I was like, ooh, I hope I get some Swiss chard in my grab bag. Booyah, God answers prayers. And block broccoli rob. I have some seeds. I'm trying to to um, purge my seeds because I think some of them may be too old. And this was something that I wanted to grow, but when I looked at the seed package, it was old. So I got some broccoli rob. I have a couple of spots in the garden that are kind of bare. So uh, I'm just gonna go throw some seeds in it. I mean, you know, it may come up, it may not come up. I don't know, we'll see. Well, part of my seed exchange, you know, I got some seeds and I've been getting a lot of seeds and I kind of stopped exchanging seeds for a while because I was trying to make sure that I'm just not, you know, hoarding and getting too many seeds. But I like pepper and I met peppers and I met this really nice lady on one of my groups and we talked peppers and I, I sent her a bunch of seeds and she sent me uh, just some really nice peppers, mini pep paprika peppers. 
So it's nothing to see. It's just the seeds. Um, she sent me the purple peach ghost pepper seeds. Um, red buquimbo pepper. Don't laugh at me because I don't know how to say this stuff. I'm just doing the best I can. Uh, apple crisp pepper. Got some seeds for there. Am I going to grow the peppers? I sure am. Because guess what I do with the peppers? I make hot sauce. I make pickled peppers. This is a chocolate star cream pepper. I make uh, dehydrated pepper flakes where I can use it uh, either at the table or when I'm cooking. So, yeah, I do pickled peppers, fermented peppers, pepper sauce, um, all that. And then, you know, having a different variety of different colors, it makes the pepper sauce pretty to look at. And um, I give away a lot of stuff. I mean, I grow stuff, but I like to give away stuff, too. So I have this is the one that started the trade. This is the Thunder Mountain Longhorn Pepper. So it's this cayenne pepper variety that grows really, really long. If you're familiar with the Longhorn Peppers, the Longhorn pe Peppers, at least the one that I have, I've grown it up to 11 inches. So these peppers will grow the same way, but they're not as thick as the cowhorn. They're a little bit thinner like a cayenne pepper. So that started our trade, and then I wind up with seven more varieties. So I have a chocolate fatale pepper never heard of it but you know what we will be growing it and this one was so funny if you get a minute to go google this go google the peter pepper i'm not gonna say nothing else about it i'm just it's yeah anyway and then i got some more seeds from another tree and if you're not a part of a seed swap group uh go on facebook and and look for them um, I should be starting one soon here. Um, when I get a chance, I'll make a video about it. So this was a young lady that sent me some rutabaga. I wanted to grow rutabaga. I think it's too late, but she sent me some seeds and I'm appreciative of that. And then a big shout out to Leah's Leaves. Leah, I met Leah in one of our groups. She has her own YouTube channel. And so her and I decided to do a seed swap. And uh, I sent her some seeds and she sent me some seeds. And she's also doing a seed swap on her channel if you wanna check out Leah's Leaves. Um, you send in $5, you, you trade, uh, you send in 10 seeds and then you'll get 10 seeds back in return. So right now um, she's accepting seeds um, up until October 31st. And then she's going to send you back your seeds by, um, Thanksgiving is the, what she's saying. So let me clear it. Well, my seed grab bag video got cut off. Um, but you know, thank you for stopping by to check out all the seeds that I, I got from my, my grab bag. I mean, go to MI Gardener and see if they have some seeds that maybe you could, you know, get a grab bag or something. And don't forget to check out Leah's leaves for her seed swap. And just a correction, it's 10 varieties of seeds not 10 seeds, 10 varieties of seeds, and she'll have more information on her page. Um, just check out Leah, Leah's Leaves on uh, YouTube. She's also on Facebook. If you want to become a part of the swap, it's always a good opportunity to get some seeds that you have never heard of and that you may want to try. So thank you so much for joining me with my seed grab bags and my seeds trades. Next time I'll see you uh, back in the garden. Peace out, my seed and soil family. Bye-bye.